Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday again, and I didn't know this, but it is the start of the next meta. It's going to be at 3 p.m. Central today. I thought since we started on a Saturday that everything would be happening on Saturday, but it looks like Niantic really wants the changes to happen on Fridays. So, um, yeah, we got a new meta coming in today, I guess, in, uh, let's see, what time is it right now? 7 a.m., so three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours from now. So I'm going to go over the four best teams I think that are going to be, or the four teams I think will be best in Summer Cup. Um, this cup's going to run for two weeks, so this is really a good time to, um, if you haven't gotten your ELO yet, which you should be starting to get your ELO tomorrow, or I'm sorry, today or the day after even, if you've really been pushing your sets. And... Um, yeah, this is really the team, the time to start pushing in ELO because you're going to have two weeks with the same team. So this is perfect. So I'm going to go over the four teams I think are the best. Um, but first, let's go ahead and get into um, what's in this meta. Um, but actually, even before that, so if that's the first, then we'll go zeroth, is um, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And if you think you have, go ahead and double check just to make sure that you do have it. I know a lot of people have been saying they thought they were subbed and then they found out they weren't. So go ahead and check now. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so here's PV Poke. Let me blow this up for you all, hopefully. Yeah, that should be good. Whoop. Don't wanna lose the immersion. All right, um, all right, so we'll go over this real quick. Uh, so this is the meta summer cup. It's gonna be a great league uh, great league cup. I will just go over I guess the top X picks and talk about them. I think tax picks is fake. <laughs> um, I guess that's all I'll go over on that one but like I think this is not real. Toxapex is it's very bulky but doesn't really hit for much. And I think even against like Vigoroth it's like it's pretty meh. obviously it wins against Vigoroth, but it's pretty meh. And then we'll just go into the second. Is not to say you cannot have success with Toxapex. It's definitely not a Pokemon I like. If you're going to run a Toxapex team, I would probably run some ABB version of uh, Toxapex as the safe swap with a Tentacruel, a Shadow Tentacruel as your um, as your uh, as your finisher um, in the front. I don't know. Go real basic. Maybe uh, let's see. What's Toxapex bad against? Magnezone, Swampert, Whizcash. Yeah, honestly, you could just go... Yeah, honestly, you could just go, like... Uh, yeah, go Vigoroth, Toxapex, Shadow, Tentacruel. That's actually probably not a bad team. Maybe I'll even try that team out. Anyways, uh, this... <laughs> This right here already says this is a Vigoroth meta. All of these cups always end up becoming a Vigoroth meta. That's just how they work. Um, you take out a lot of the best mon in the in the league, and you're going to get Vigoroth. That's going to be it. Um, it's also actually going to be a Charger Bug meta. So Charger Bug not really threatened by too much in this league. Um, its worst matchups are like, let me see... Maybe like Quagsire. There is um, Stunfisk and Diggersby in this meta as well. It's going to be pretty bad against those. Um, but overall, it's going to have a pretty good spot in this meta too. Mantine, just like the last, uh, I think it was Remix, just like Great League Remix, uh, Mantine will be used a lot. There are actually a lot of electric in this cup. Uh, Charger Bug, Emolga, Magnezone. Um, Token Mario's on this list. We'll go ahead and just say that's fake as well. Um, these two are the same. I actually think Pidgeot's great. Uh, we'll, we'll probably use Pidgeot ourselves. We definitely have that in our four teams here. Mantine's going to be good. Um, double, Double's probably going to have some play. Um, obviously, it's bad against Vigoroth, but just because you're bad against Vigoroth doesn't mean that you can't do anything. The only thing is it's kind of weak against Charger Bug 2, so to be weak against the two best things in the cup might be a little sus, but at the same time, Double is just supposed to be a spammy, um, spammy, spammy mon, and it gets to the body slams pretty fast, so that could be real. Um, Amolga is actually really interesting. I definitely would use Amolga uh, if I had it. 
Well, I do have it, but I don't have it on my best teams, but Amolga is actually pretty good. Air, uh, Acrobatics is just insane flying damage. Um, unfortunately, has Discharge. <laughs> Someone just subbed. Morris Milton. Thank you for the sub. I'm not streaming or anything. I say it every time, but the software I use to film tells me if someone subbed and someone just randomly subbed in the middle of it. Morris Milton, thank you for the sub. And you should sub too. Just be like Morris. All right. Um, what else do we have here? So, oh, you can ignore all of that since it moved. Uh, Togodomaru, this is fake. Oh, I already said that. Quagsi Shadow Quagsire, big stocks. This is... This is maybe the third best mon, I think, in the league. Uh, maybe Mantine is actually third, but I think it's Vigoroth, Charger Bug, and then I think it's Quagsire, and then Mantine. Mantine's just not as uh, mobile, I guess, as Quagsire. Quagsire just has a little bit more of edge to it and can hit a lot more things. But Mantine is much bulkier, so you're hoping to win neutral matchups. That's why... If you see things that are higher up on this list, it means that they win the neutral matchups. It doesn't necessarily mean these things are worse, which, like I'm saying, I think Quagsire is probably the third best mod in this league. Um, Pelipper has some play. Um, it's going to suffer from the same thing. It's going to be like kind of like Mantine, but faster to water moves, but way worse into neutral moves. So if something resists water, it's going to be pretty tough for Pelipper to get through but as you see on this list not a lot really resisting water except Tropius probably the best grass mod in this league um oh Crid no Cridilly Crid doesn't resist it either it's neutral and then I think Munchlax and like Greedon are going to be really good as well they suffer from kind of the same thing Double suffers from they're very spammy well okay Munchlax is not very spammy but it's got tackle a one turn move so it's going to be a lot of fast attack damage and in any meta where Lickitung is not in the league, Munchlax is a very good alternative. So I think you're going to see a lot of Munchlax. It's on one of my four teams. Um, even though it's not great against Vigoroth, it's actually quite bad. Obviously, Vigoroth has counter. But it has more play than something like a Lickitung would. Um, with that, let's go ahead and get into the teams. Did I miss anything maybe in the top 15? I think Magnuson's good. I prefer Shadow. I think Polyrath's good. I prefer Shadow. Um... Tropius is good. I don't have an Empoleon team, but Empoleon will be good if you put it on a good team. The tough things about these videos is I could put out 15 teams that are going to be better than 50% win rate, um, and they'll be pretty good, but I'm just trying to go over the shortest amount of teams that I think are actually the best. Um, I think Zapdos could also be good if you find... If you pair it with like two bulky mon, take shields. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Okay, let's go into my teams. All right, so these are going to be my four best teams for this league. Um, I think this one is probably the one I'll try day one. I think this is probably the most basic team. Well, I put a little bit of a change in there, but we'll go over it. Okay, so we have Charger Bug here in the front. Again, I said probably second best mon in this league, and it has play against the first best. Um, very interesting one-on-one -on -one matchup with Vigoroth. It depends if they go for uh, the Rock Slides, which are super effective, or the Body Slams that aren't. The X-Scissors are going to hit Vigoroth pretty well. Two are going to KO with the Volt Switch damage. Um, Quagsire pairs very nicely with Charger Bug. I think that, um, again, it's probably my third best mon in the league. Um, it's definitely got the best coverage moves of the of the Mon here. I think technically it has the same amount of coverage as like Vigoroth, but um, I, I think these coverages actually are a little better. They can hit things for super effective, whereas Vigoroth is usually hitting things with neutral with a body slam, which is fine. But having that ability to hit with super effective is great. And this is going to be just like the last Quagsire video. I prefer Aqua Tail and Stone Edge. Just gives you much more coverage than something like the Mud Bomb does. Um, and then there aren't going to be a lot of steel types. I personally think Stunfisk is going to be good as well. I also made a video with Stunfisk for Open Great League, and I think it's going to have play here as well. Um, my last mon here is going to be Pidgeot with the Aerial Ace moveset instead of um, Feather Dance. I made a ton of videos about Pidgeot and why Aerial Ace is better. Um, you can go check those out, but you can also just check out when I make this video probably Saturday. Um, 
what else to say? Oh yeah, so you could easily just switch out Pidgeot for Vigoroth and it'll be just the most basic best team. And it will be very good, by the way. So Charge Bug, Quagsire, Shadow Quagsire, and Vigoroth, great team. I'm gonna go Pidgeot. I think I like Pidgeot just a tad more as a Pokemon. And plus, everyone's gonna be running Vigoroth. Let's just try not to run Vigoroth day one. <laughs> We have two weeks. Well, you can go switch into Vigoroth later if you uh, if you want to. All right. Next team here is going to be Shadow Magnezone. So another Electric. I think Electric really has a lot of play in this meta. Um, but yeah, Shadow Magnezone in the lead. Hopefully you can get a Wild Charge and Dip if they um, if they let you, or you can uh, win the lead and maybe they'll switch into something that our backline is going to be super effective against. Tropius, we actually haven't seen Tropius, I think, in a while. Um, I think Tropius is actually really good in this meta. Obviously, it is the best grass type. So in a meta that's going to have a decent amount of waters, being grass is pretty good. The only thing that you have to worry about is one of the waters is Mantine, which is obviously going to have super effective uh, wing attack and aerial ice against the grass. But Tropius is actually so bulky. I don't know when the last time you might have used Tropius, but you forget how really bulky this one is. And then in the back is going to be Polyrath. Again, I prefer Shadow. But if you want to use regular, it's going to be fine. And that's all the graphics showing there. The regular and the shadow are going to have the same exact movesets. Um, this team is going to be just pretty good. Safe swap, Polyrath, um, and then hopefully you have the Magnezone as the finisher or some sort of energy gain um, on throughout. All right, third team here is going to be Polyrath in the lead. Again, I prefer the shadow, but you can use the regular. Going to have Tropius again. Do I have Tropius here? Ooh, I have the wrong graphic. One second. All right, we're back and it's fixed. Okay, so yeah, I was like, Tropius is the best grass in this cup, but I'm not a huge Tropius player. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of playing Tropius, but it is going to be good, and that's why I'm showcasing it. But no, this team's going to be with uh, G-Fisk and uh, Munchlax in the back. Again, Munchlax going to have Tackle in this. You don't want to go with Lick in a meta that um, has a lot of normal types. You definitely don't want to be running Lick as it's double resisted by normal since it's a ghost type move. And, um, yeah, so this is basically an ABB line against something like, uh, well, specifically Vigoroth, or it could be any other fighters. Um, I don't think Annihilate's in this meta. Let me check really quick, hopefully. I'm 99% that Annihilate's not in this meta. Yeah, Annihilate not in this meta, or we would be using it. All right, last team. Oh, I got to remove the Stunfisk. Oh, wait, no, it is Stunfisk. <laughs> okay, um, that's funny on my side. Maybe you guys don't see it. But I like a Mantine in this meta with Wing Attack, Water Pulse, Aerial Ice. You could technically go something like Ice Beam as it'll be double super effective against Tropius, and there will be a decent amount of Tropius in the meta. But Aerial Ice is super effective as well. Um, why double up on one Mon coverage when you can get a little bit more coverage with Water Pulse against some of these ground types, which will be getting some usage, so... I'd rather be super effective than neutral into the ground types, or even into G-Fisk, but I actually have a feeling not a lot of people are going to be using G-Fisk. Maybe it'll be just me, so uh, maybe another G-Fisk video soon, but uh, yeah, I like Mantine with G -F uh, Galarian Stunfisk and uh, Diggersby, and Diggersby is going to have Mudshot, Scorching Sand, Fire Punch, just a little bit of coverage. Um, I personally don't like running something like Hyper... I was going to say Hyper Cannon... Uh, something like Hyper Beam, um, I believe it gets Gunk Shot as well. I guess I could check that real quick. Um, no, it gets Scorching Sand, Fire Punch, Hyper Beam, Dig, Earthquake. Okay, Scorching Sand, obviously the best of those moves. It has a chance to debuff the attack, and it actually is pretty strong on its own. And then Fire Punch giving you a little bit of coverage against something like Tropius, which... Diggersby is not very good against, but at least giving you something super effective against it. But Leaf Blade is just such a good move on Tropius. Um, well, not just on Tropius, but in this game, Leaf Blade is just very good damage for the energy cost. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, these are the four teams I think are going to be really good in this cup. Um, yeah, try them out. Let me know how it goes. Again, I think I might be the only person using Galarian Stunfisk again, but I do think it is decent in this meta. You do have to avoid things like Vigoroth, 
but it has play against Vigoroth as well. Vigoroth can't throw anything super effective into you, as the Body Slam and Rock Slides are resisted. Now the counters are super effective, but Galarian Sunfisk is so bulky that you're going to end up surviving a lot of that uh, damage and being able to get maybe an Earthquake and a Rock Slide off, which is going to be enough to KO the Vigoroth. So, or get it low at least. So not the worst, and... Um, yeah, I guess the worst thing against it would be something like Polyrath, which would just be horrific. So, all right, uh, that's going to be it for me. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. And again, I just want to say again, thank you so much for the support on this channel. It's been crazy the last like four months. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out. And if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there. And I'll see you in the next one.